What up, Amy Bear here, and this is my journey into the village hidden into the leaves. The issue here is that um, Kakashi Sensei, they were a commissioned order, and uh, the guy who commissioned them wanted to get them for his girlfriend as a gift, a surprise gift actually. And uh, there, unfortunately, it was really hard for me to find a Nike Dunk for a female. I guess they really don't make female styles anymore. But uh, we got it done, and uh, she's uh, like a huge anime fan, and Naruto is her huge, you know, most, most favorite anime series of all, and with Kakashi Sensei being her favorite character, he wanted to get her Kakashi Sensei type shoes. Um, Naruto is actually one of my favorite animes too, and Kakashi Sensei happens to be my favorite character, so this is a real treat, pleasure, you know. For me to do these shoes for them. Um, I do a bunch of new techniques I've never done before. I mean, it's not new to the entire custom shoe business game or whatever, but for me as a artist doing this type of work, it was new. And, uh, I think I accomplished it very well. Like you see here with the swish, I did the gradation type fading, and I did the stitching. Um, I could paint the stitching along the soles, and. Uh, what else did we do? I did some extra color fading changes and stuff in the other shoe and the glow in the dark features you'll see at the end. Um, what I wanted to hear was uh, the color combo. He said that her favorite color was purple and for me to incorporate purple in it some way. Um, it was kind of tough because with Kakashi being a male character and me trying to do this shoe for a female, I couldn't really figure out a good layout that would kind of mesh together. So, the concept I thought of was the, uh, the Joning Vest, the, uh, Leaf Village Ninja Wear. It's like a bluish purple with the green vest. So, uh, that's the concept I got going with the shoe there, is the green and the purple. Uh, honestly, I think the purple came out a little too dark, but I think it still works, though. It came out really nice. I still like it. Um, on the left shoe here, you see that I have Kakashi Sensei full mode get ready to throw his famous Chidori, or Lightning Blade, whichever you prefer, and on the opposite shoe, which would be the right shoe, I have him raising his head banana, or his bandana, <laughs> to reveal his uh, Charling Gun eye. Um, with that shoe, it, it seemed a little plain for me, but I didn't want to overdo it because I wanted the full focus to be on his eye. And with the other shoe, the full focus will be on the Chidori. Uh, as you see there, I left the hand out because I'm going to do that whole entire panel white. Well, not the entire panel, but you know, the Chidori white. And with the new technique that I used, I made the Chidori actually glow in dark. And it's the first time I actually incorporated that, so it was a little new for me, but um, it came out really well. Unfortunately, I ran out of tape before I finished the actual shoe, so I really don't have any video of me showing a glow into the dark, but uh, I, trust me, it, it looks awesome, and he was very happy with them, and uh, right here I'm trying to show the detail of the, the vest, I used four different colors of green, you really can't tell with the quality of the video, but in person there's four different colors of green, it's an avocado green, that's the main color I used for the swoosh, and it kind of gets lighter throughout the actual shoe. On the shoe is like a, a forest or a, a leaf green, if you will, and the vest is forest green. So, I mean, you can tell the greens are different in person than you can on the video. Um, I did like really detailed uh, painting here on this Kakashi uh, face and vest and everything, and I had to use like the smallest brush I had. I forget which number it is at the moment, but. Um, it'll, I'll zoom in here and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. So, like, the detail is crazy, so, I'm really happy how it turned out. Um, he said she was going to go into an anime convention and she needed them done in time for the convention so we could see them. And I surprisingly finished them in time. I think I finished them within under about almost two weeks, I think. It was almost two weeks, so pretty proud of myself there. But yeah, these are called Hatake Kali Kids. And uh, thank you for checking them out.